Hello, my name is Eric Siddig and I'm a candidate for the North Liberty City Council. I've lived in North Liberty for 19 years, having moved here in 2002 uh, to go to law school. Uh, my wife and I decided this was our home and we decided to stay here despite having job offers other, in, in other places. Uh, we now have uh, two children, 16 and 12. I first became involved in North Liberty politics when I was appointed to the Planning and Zoning Commission in 2003. I served on that commission for four years, three of them as, as the chair. In 2007, I joined the law firm of then city attorney Scott Peterson and stepped away from North Liberty politics. Most recently, I've served on the Blues and Barbecue Planning Committee uh, for the five years preceding the pandemic. I also volunteer at and serve on the board for the North Liberty Community Pantry. I currently practice law in Iowa City and have varied experience including criminal law, juvenile law, family law, general litigation, bankruptcy, real estate, estate planning, uh, you name it, I've probably done it. Uh, but a big part of my law practice uh, for almost 15 years has been representing small cities in eastern Iowa as their city attorney. I'm running for city council because I think I can work well with the other members to achieve goals that we should all have for our city. Because of my experience, I understand many of the issues the city will face, and I won't have much of a learning curve stepping into a council seat. In addition to the normal decisions about growth, public improvements, the cost of city services, and general policy setting, which I think mayor, the mayor, council, and city staff have done a good job managing recently, I think North Liberty has a lot of work to do before all people feel comfortable here. I'll push my council colleagues to have frank discussions about how we can stop the disproportionate contacts we know our poli police officers have, ha have had with people of color. How we can educate people so they don't call the police because they see someone from a marginalized community walking in their neighborhood. And how we can address business businesses choosing not to serve those people. We know those things happen because we heard our neighbors tell us those, their stories last year during the listening post the city organized in the wake of the murder of George Floyd. As a city, we can't be silent about these things and try to sweep or try to sweep them under the rug. We have to own them and figure out how we move forward to stamp out the racism we, we know still exists. It won't be easy or pretty, but it's necessary. I don't have all the answers, but I know we can move North Liberty forward by working together to tackle, tackle the problems we face. Most important to me is hearing from North Liberty residents and business owners about how different issues affect them. If you're out and about in the early morning hours and see me running or riding my bike or swimming laps at the pool, or if you see me at Fairway or Ace or a Liberty, Liberty High music concert, please introduce yourself. I'd like to meet as many North Liberty residents as I can, and hearing many different viewpoints will help me be a better decision maker for the city. Thanks to the city of North Liberty for providing this opportunity, and thank you for being interested in this race and watching. I hope you'll vote for me on, in the no November 2 election. And I look forward to the challenges of serving on the North Liberty City Council.